England spun the coin and won the toss for Luton at St Andrews in the semi-final replay. 50,000 fans on the Birmingham ground saw Teddy Bly set the game going. Norwich playing from right to left. Luton in white shirts. Down on the Luton goal swooped the Canaries and Bly made Bainham dive for it. He only half cleared but Luton escaped. All out attack was the Norwich plan and Luton knew that this great team were at their most dangerous. Bainham saved Luton again. Locals in the big crowd wondered how any team so good as Norwich could be in the third division. The clubs they've knocked out have wondered the same. Luton took up the attack now, but Kennan got the ball away. So far, there wasn't very much between the two sides. Perhaps Norwich were the shade the better. Bainham and Luton goal was playing in England form. McNally saved the day when Bainham could do nothing. No score at half-time. Luton kicked off on the resumption, playing from right to left. Norwich reserve goalkeeper Kennan was playing with more confidence than hitherto. He had to need to be, for Luton were already looking more dangerous than in the first half. On both sides, the tackling was hard. Fortunately, referee Hickson had the game in complete control. Once again, Luton had the brilliant Bainham to thank for keeping their goal intact. Again, Norwich stormed the Luton goal. Somehow the defenders prevailed and at the critical moment got the ball away. At the other end, Kennan stopped a promising attack. Then City right half McGrath and foul Cummins. Free kick to Luton. Tony Gregory put the ball across goal. A defender deflected it towards Alan Brown. Like a master, he sized up the position, waiting for the exact moment before parting with the ball. He centered, Morton deflected the ball. Bingham scored! So Luton go into the final. What a pity it's at the expense of gallant Norwich City.